Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, one day on tour video. I'm going to show you a little bit what it is like to be on tour. So of course it's not exactly every day the same thing, but uh, pretty much in fact. So uh, here is our tour booth. And this is the 21st day of touring out of uh, 25. So this is pretty much the end for us. Um, Normally I wake up around 8 in the morning, but this is way too early for a tour because after a week or two you are just too tired if you wake up too early. So even if I don't sleep anymore, I'll try to uh, stay in my bunk. And around 11 or 12, uh, we are still not at the venue and I'm just watching video, walking on Guitar Pro, stuff like this, listening to music. And um, then we reach the venue around 2 in the afternoon and this is time for catering. Uh, to discover the venue and, uh, and everything. So today we are in Copenhagen. We arrived at the venue a little bit earlier than usual. So it was around uh, 11.30 in the morning. So we decided to go uh, for a coffee uh, in, in, a, in the town. It was great, um, especially because after 21 days of touring, you kind of uh, appreciate that kind of uh, luxury. But uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, try now to discover the venue. Ça va Un petit peu. Ouais, oh, peut-être. Tu fais là Ouais, là je fais que. Un truc super intéressant. <rire> so this is Pierre, our bass player, always on his phone, and this is uh, the backstage. So this is important for us. We always check this when we arrive at a venue because basically this is a schedule for the day. That's our catering today. And so this is uh, the venue for today in uh, Copenhagen. It's a pretty nice one. Already been there with uh, Zvartkron. But the fact is that on this tour, uh, this show is going to be almost sold out, or sold out when gates will open, because we have something like 350 pre-sales already. So that's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, we're expecting for a very nice show. But basically, every show of this tour has been very thick. Almost every one was sold out. So kind of uh, very excited about that one too, honestly. Okay, so the next step is going to do the loading. So basically, to grab all our gear and uh, put everything inside the venue before to set up. But we have a bit of time currently, so we are just going to take a look inside the tour bus and I'll show you basically where we live for 25 days. Here is our bus driver, very nice guy. Our life kind of uh, depends on it, so on him, sorry. Okay, let's take a look. So we are downstairs. So this is where we can have some fun after the show, some time. We have the fridge, we have a small toilet, just for peeing, of course. Don't take a shit inside a tour bus, that's forbidden. And this is the banks. So this is mine. Nothing very exciting about this, it's pretty small. Just going to grab some of my stuff already and it's done for later. So after like one hour to do nothing in the backstage, it's time for the loading. And you'll see that we have a lot of gear stuck in the trailer. Mm. 
Okay, so now it's time to set up the drum kit we are using. So as you can see, the background is setting up the stage as they need. Uh, we will set up just after, so there is two black backline on the stage uh, at every show. So either way, uh, at that moment, on the I just can decide to have a walk uh, in town or to have some practice. And basically today I will have some practice. I try not to over practice during tour because otherwise I do not play very, very well. But I went for a walk already yesterday, so today it's going to be So this is the gear I bring uh, with me on tour. Uh, for this tour I've been able to take a little bit more than usual because we haven't uh, taken any flight. So I have an arcade with some hardware. So that means I had stands, um, snare stands, strong, uh, a small carpet with me. I have my uh, little box with my trigger module. Inside. I have my uh, case with a snare drum, uh, drum pedal, uh, and practice pad. I have my symbol case with uh, very, very good T symbols. Honestly, I'm very happy the way they sound in live condition. And I have also just uh, one uh, backpack with my uh, personal stuff. So I'm going to set up right here, one of the stage for my practice. And I will do some uh, exercises today. Okay, so my setup for practicing is done. Uh, it's very fancy, in fact, because I have uh, a small carpet with me. I use, I use this electronic drum pad as a um, uh, practice uh, pad for, for the bass drum. And I have uh, also the trick trigger on. I have my uh, hand practice pad. I have the hi-hat stand in order to be sure that uh, this pedal is not going to move. And I even borrow a fan for the from the layer, from the from the gear we have, so I'm set up like this. It's uh, very fancy stuff, and I can have a very nice uh, practicing. And the cool stuff is also that I use this electronic drum pad to have uh, a snare, a second snare during the live show, and then I can use it on the song March here. So yeah, that's uh, very cool stuff.
Sheet has uh, completed the uh, sound check, so uh, now we have set up the stage for cytotoxin, v and uh, cryptopsy because we share the same drum kit. So currently there are, there are two drum kit on stage, two backline on stage. So even if it is quite a big stage, uh, now it's a bit tiny, but you can just imagine that on small stage uh, it's even more complicated. So tonight we have uh, you know, some room on stage, so this is great. Uh, in a moment we are just going to take a look uh, on stage. But um, what you have to know is that if you are touring someday, it uh, doesn't matter if you are playing in a small or a big band, sometime you will be headlining, sometime you will not. So that means sometime you will, you will have a lot of uh, place on stage. And oh. some of the time it's going to be tiny. Sometimes you will be able to do a sound check, sometimes not. So ah. on this tour, ah. Cretopsy and United, ah. we are not making any sound check. We don't have enough room on stage sometimes, but still we have to make it work. And uh, it's the same with Abortis. Sometimes when they are opening for very huge bands, they have to deal with that kind of condition. And it is how it is. And being a professional musician is to be able also to play uh, with that kind of condition. So what I've done is that I've... Um, put some of my gear on stage, then we can do a very quick changeover. And we are just going to take a look at uh, how the stage is looking right now. So, let's go. So here is my double bass drum pedal with my cymbals. The bass drum Flo Mounier is using. And we have Ken drum kit. And on the other side of the stage, there are my snare drum and my hi hat. And so, yeah, you can see that now the stage is very tiny, but still, this is. You have to work with that. And here is Toki, ready for his sound check. <laughs> It's not going to walk as a practice patch, Tucky. Come on! Tu peux te foutre de sa gueule <rire> si tu veux. <rire> Ce sera sur YouTube. 
En français, je le traduirai pas. Je veux plus. Il est timide, hein L'important, c'est d'essayer. <rire> One of the tricky things on tour is to find the right moment to have your lunch. Because let's say you arrive at a venue at 2 uh, in the afternoon, that basically means you are going to have your first, your first meal at that moment, but then dinner is going to be at 6 in the afternoon. So if you eat a lot at 2 in the afternoon and 6 in the afternoon, basically it's going to be very hard for your stomach, and if you go on stage one or two hours later, probably not going to be enough for, for, for you in fact. So most of the time I have a lunch at 2 and then I eat after the show and I just have a small thing just before to go on stage. But today uh, as we were able to have uh, a breakfast in the morning uh, I think uh, it's going to be 6 very soon so I'm going to have a lunch before our show and also the show is pretty late tonight so this is perfect and this is so great when things like this happen because otherwise it's like the whole day you are just too full or you are just very hungry so it's going to be a great show ouais, so, je sais, ouais. lunch, encore, encore en manger, English, ouais. English, English. Okay. lunch time and the great things when you can eat at six when the dinner shows up is that it's warm so it's maybe one of the, of the first time we eat something warm from the whole tour and it's very good stuff <laughs> So a lot of vegan on that trip, so a lot of vegan food, mm -hmm. but also some chicken and other amazing stuff. Yeah, it's a crack my house because I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not work, something got sick. And I'm trying to make you do work to like three times. Yeah. Alright, the weight has come to an end. Cytotoxin is spraying currently and I'm just going to warm up. So basically I don't do a lot of exercise practices before the show. I just like to stretch a bit. This is enough as a warm-up. Thanks a lot, keep supporting, see you next time. Thanks.